guys. Um, uh, this is week four of SSC. Uh, it's Neil's question. Uh, first off, let me just say, uh, Neil, why did you have to pick this? When I saw this um, earlier in the week, I was just like, no, I don't want to have to talk about this at all, but I'm going to have to talk about it. Um, I think part of the reason I didn't want to talk about it is because I realized I don't have all the answers um, that I usually just kind of put it out of my mind. I don't try to think about it when I don't have to, which is most of the time. Being a guy, uh, I really have to, will ever, I will only ever have to think of it significantly less than any woman would. Um, so that being said, um, just because I, I guess I'm not 100% familiar with abortion or like the reasons for it, uh, I, I did a little research um, just to kind of wrap my head around like what are the what are the usual reasons uh, that at least are given um, for abortions? Let me try and I had it queued up. Let me try and get it up again. Uh, okay, give me a second. I'm gonna have to queue it up. Anyway, so why I'm typing? Um, first of all, let me just start off by saying no one actually I have a book. No one wants abortion. Obviously, no one. I think that's pretty safe to say. No one likes abortions. Um, I think we would all love a world where they didn't exist or didn't have to exist, I should say. Um, so, you know, it's not so much being pro-abortion or anti-abortion. I think everyone's anti it on a very basic level. We, we, wish, it, it's a, it's, we wish it didn't have to exist. Um, all right, let me find... I have two sites here. Uh, or I looked at a couple of things, but I think I have two here with some information. Ugh. Sorry, it's taking me so long. Um... Okay, so basically, I'll just open with that. You know, it's it's a it's a thing that no one wants to have to deal with, so it should be kind of treated that way. It's just a messy thing. Um, we'd all prefer that didn't have to happen. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, why why does it does it have to happen? Why is it here? You know, why is it something we have to deal with? Well, as as uh, unsavory as the answer might be, as hard to swallow as the answer might be, it's it's our fault. Um, we put ourselves here in this situation. We got to this place. Now, that's not to say that before we were doing this, there wasn't just as severe problems or there weren't problems related to these issues. There definitely were. Um, but, you know, the fact that this is a problem at all uh, of course, as with anything, it comes down to us, it comes down to choice, and it comes down to our fault. So responsibility falls on us. All right, so anyway, uh, finally I got these things open up, so let me just, let me just look at these. Okay, so basically it was just what are normal reasons given. Um, this one site here says most common reasons women consider abortion are for birth control, uh, or no, sorry, birth control failure, contraceptive failure. This says over half of all the women who have an abortion used contraceptive method during the month they became pregnant. Excuse me. Next one's inability to support or care for a child. Next one's to end an unwanted pregnancy, to prevent the birth of a child with birth defects or severe medical problems. Such defects are often unknown until routine second trimester tests are done. Pregnancy resulting from rape or incest. Physical or mental conditions that endanger the woman's health if the pregnancy is continued. Um, then this little note down here. In the United States, 9 out of 10 abortions are performed in the first 12 weeks. Of pregnancy as first trimester. Most of these are done within the first nine weeks of pregnancy. Uh, very few are done after 16 weeks of pregnancy, but some women have to delay abortions because they have trouble paying for finding or traveling to an abortion specialist. All right, so that's that one. So other site just lists three main reasons. This one just says, it says negative impact on mother's life, financial instability, and relationship problems slash unwillingness to be a single mother. And then it kind of, it goes on and expounds on each one of those. Um... So there's a lot of reasons there. There's a lot of, you know, seemingly legitimate reasons there. Um, it's such a tough thing. You know, it's 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 two lives, really. It's not just one life. Uh, you know, it's not just the baby. Uh, or it's not just the developing human, and it's not just the mother. It's, it's both of them. Um, so, okay, so let me just... Yeah, this is this is really tough for me because I, I just don't I can't speak with any kind of fluidity on this. Um, 
All right, so here, here's the basic conclusion I guess I came to. Um, what, is, what is the main reason that um, some of these reasons occur? So let's like go through them. So the first one, oh, just from that first site, it says, all right, so contraception failed. All right, so that's something that is not necessarily foreseeable. That's something that is um, surprise. Um, inability to support or care for a child. Now, this one I feel is no excuse because if you realize you're in that situation, you should go to as many lengths as possible to prevent that kind of thing from happening. Now, I know that's a very broad and and like generalizing statement, um, but the way I see it is like we you realize what can happen uh, as a result of having sex like you you know the risks now obviously it's not a guaranteed risk um but it's there you know it's 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 playing with fire it's something that you can't really be take take lightly when you enter into that um so you know take like understand that like the heaviness the weight of what that means when you're doing that it's not just this thing that just happens it's not just quick or fun or nothing i mean maybe it seems like that but really it's this really heavy meaningful weighty thing that could ultimately relate in another re, re, result in another human life like understand what that means um you know just because we take measures to prevent that from happening doesn't make it any less powerful a thing it's you know sex is this insanely powerful thing that we just kind of we put checks on we like bottle it up we hold it off um you know maybe for our own good but it's something to be respected i think because it is because you know what what change it can make on your life is is immense you know that's that's a kid um so if you're in the, you're you're not able to support or care for this child i say just you have no right to be careless um, just, you know, you, you have a responsibility, um, to be aware of that. Um, so that brings me to another thing. I think the biggest thing that's necessary, the biggest thing we really need in all this is education. Um, I'm a huge proponent of education. Um, people, you know, kids need to be aware of the truth, know what's going on, know the severity of these things. You know, it, kids act in, in their, by their emotions. They're driven by their emotions. They don't think it's all kind of instinctive stuff. And so education, what education does is it helps you to make sense of the things that are insensible, um, things you don't understand. And so for one, I think it's important to have education on what's going on. And for two, I think it's, it's important to have education just like, um, well, here, I've written down something. Hold on, let me try and find it. Um, I, I've written down, what will it take to reduce the number or eliminate abortions? And it says it takes a fundamental worldview change. It starts with respect. And so I think this isn't for all abortions, but for a lot of them, especially like the um, ones that are like by a rape or something or an incestuous thing, you know, that's, um, it's, you have to, let's see. Yeah, okay, it starts, I, I cut it off in a sense. It said it starts with respect for women by men and young boys. This means, um, Cutting down on objectification of women. Um, so that's, I think that's one of the, actually the more root issue with some of these cases. Not Obviously not all of them. Um, there's a wide variety. But I think one of the biggest ones, um, and that's usually brought up, is like, you know, what if the, what if the child is, is from some kind of sexual assault? Uh, obviously, you know, that's that's a huge deal. And that's that's one of the ones that's most common uh, as it's to say, you know, this is why you should be allowed to, to terminate the pregnancy. Um, and I think, you know, obviously this doesn't fix that if this has already happened. But before that happens, I think we as a society need to do a better job of uh, getting in men's heads to say, this is not okay. And you can't, you can't act like that. And that, again, that comes back to edu education. Like, I am for, you know... Everyone needs to be educated. Everyone needs to, to understand how the society works, understand how nature works, understand what's acceptable, and understand how weighty our actions are. Um, like, you know, 
young men need to understand that you just can't do that. You can't give in to your drives like that. You have to have more self-control than that. You have to understand and you you have to have respect for yourself, for the other person, for um, like what's, you know, what could potentially happen to the both of you. Um, it's not just fun. You know, it's not that simple. It's it's not that simple. You know, we, we make fun out of things that are that are not supposed to be just fun things, things that are really serious, things that are really have, can have very strong detrimental effects to us. And I'm not just talking about sex. I'm talking about like substance abuse. Um, I'm talking about, you know, just take any kind of risk in general. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's exhilarating. Yeah, it's living as they say, but understand that while you're living, you could very just as soon be dying or just as soon be ruining your life. You know, like with every risk comes the potential for a horrible crash and burn. Um, and no one wants to think about that. No one wants to think about things going wrong. And that's part of the thing. Um, we need to be forced to think about it. As harsh as that sounds. Um, that's, that's one of my biggest things. And this isn't just an abortion thing. This is everything in life. Like there's too much ignorance when it comes to the severity of existence the fragility of the human condition. Like we are not made aware of how easily we could just be dead at any second. I could, you know, I could drop over dead here now, right now making this video. You could see it happen. Um, understand that. Like understand you're not invincible. Understand that you're at the mercy of so many things out there. So many people, so many unforeseen variables. And your body is too. Your body's not built to protect you from everything. In fact, your body's built to, to decay or to just, you know, there's certain programming that's in there that you can't do anything about. You have to respect it. Uh, you have to respect that. You have to respect nature. You have to respect other people. You have to respect just the order of how things are. And again, just how fragile you are. I'm not saying don't have fun, but I'm saying when you're having fun, at least reflect on what it is and why it's fun to you and what could happen like I, I feel like a lot of times I come off as kind of a Debbie Downer in situations like that but I think it's just because I'm always trying to kind of think that way I'm always trying to like step back and get a big picture on life and say you know what does all this mean what could happen um you know again it's like it, it almost sounds like I'm saying be more scared and again it, I don't want anyone to be scared but you can't deny you just can't deny just how how quickly things can go from happy-go-lucky to just gripping fear or just, you know, something goes terribly wrong in a second. Um, you know, that's, you have to deal with that. Understand it can happen to you. That's, that's my biggest thing, I guess. So I guess I don't feel like I've said very much. I've just kind of rambled. But my bottom line for all of this is no one wants this to happen. Um, when it all comes down to it, but sometimes our actions in our ignorance, we are letting it happen or we want it to happen in our ignorance. Um, that's kind of harsh, but it's like, if you are, you know, if you're having unprotected sex or you're raping someone or, or whatever it is, if you're putting yourself in those situations, you're probably not thinking about what could go wrong. Um, but you have to, that's, you have to, um, there was a time when science couldn't save us. You know what I mean? There's a time when this wasn't an option. You know, we built these things for ourselves as safety nets as we progress. Um, but there was, you know, our ancestors for thousands and thousands of years weren't afforded these luxuries that we have. We're had to be aware of fear and danger all the time. You know, you could say to yourself, what kind of an existence was that? We're trying to evolve and move past that. Yeah, but most of those things haven't changed. And again, you know, modern science can't save you from everything. So educate yourself. Get educated. Tell other people to be educated. Learn as much as you can. Um, like, don't be ignorant, please. Um, understand that you're not invincible. And just have reverence and respect for, for the world around you and for people around you.
you know, don't, don't mess with other people's business. Don't, don't sexually assault people. Like, don't, don't think about yourself so much, you know? Like, a lot of these things are results of selfish acts. They're just, you're just following these selfish desires. You're just following these selfish drives. Um, you're just trying to make yourself feel better. Um, you gotta find, I think you just have to, I, I don't know, this is going somewhere else. But anyway, just, again, think twice. Um, I, I know this only solves, that doesn't even solve, there's just so many other instances that this can happen. Um, I just, I don't know. The, it, the bottom line, and I keep, I keep saying this over and over again, I'm sorry, I keep rehashing the same thing, but for me, a lot of this could be prevented if we, if society, if our society could do a better job at getting it into guys' heads, um, at making kind of a fundamental, um, having like a paradigm shift or something, if we could just get a, get a hold of these kids and somehow make them understand that you can't live like this, that you can't be abusive in this way, that you can't not think. You have to be responsible. You have to be responsible or else you're going to have to deal with the choice you make. You can't rely on someone to bail you out for your irresponsibility. That's just not the way the world is. And so, so yeah. <laughs> you know, I really am not happy to have to talk about this. Um, so anyway, um, I still have a lot of thinking to do about this. Um, you know, I don't know when I'm going to ever have to encounter something like this before. I've never really had to deal with it. Um, I've never had to deal with it. But, you know, who knows, maybe one day it'll be an issue. Um, but for now, I just, I need to continue to educate myself about it. Um, so take a, take a, you know, a little bit of my own advice. So anyway, this is way long. This is longer than my last week's video, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm interested to see what everyone else has to say, and I'm, uh, excited to finish this week and move to the next one. Hopefully it'll be something uh, a little bit lighter. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys. Bye.